What's going on humans? Welcome, my name is Nick from Analog Tabletop, and this is the top 5 board games on Kickstarter. Usually this list contains games that launched on Kickstarter this week, but since I had to take last week off, this is for the past two weeks. As always, links are in the description below, and pledge amounts have been converted to United States dollars. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. Alright, now let's get to it! Welcome to Analog Tabletop. Number five. It's time to sharpen thy shovel. Once again, Shovel Knight makes his auspicious return to Kickstarter in Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels. Based on the highly successful crowdfunded video game and made in close cooperation with Yacht Club Games, Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels is a competitive side-scrolling dungeon crawl miniatures board game for one to four players. Each player plays as a different colored Shovel Knight Players will be shoveling out justice in spades against the evil order of no quarter while trying to grab the most treasure to prove that they are the one true Shovel Knight. Players will collect treasure by digging up dirt mounds and defeating enemies. While moving through the stage, players may have to jump over spiked pits if you fail to make the jump, you are defeated and will drop half of your total treasure. Don't worry though, just like in the video game, Shovel Knight has infinite lives. Be sure to hurry and pick up your lost treasure, or your loss may be someone else's gain. After all players have gone, the enemy will then move and attack following a simple AI system. Be careful not to let their assault bounce you into a pit. At the end of each round, the stage scrolls sideways, removing the last tile to the left and placing a new tile on the right side of the track, recreating the side-scrolling action of Shovel Knight. Any models that fall off the left side of the screen are instantly defeated, so you better keep up the pace. In Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels, players will have several options of dungeons to explore that each represents different locations in the video game series. While exploring the dungeons, you may find powerful relics. These relics can help give a player the upper hand by performing special abilities or by mitigating dice rolls. While players may not directly wound other player knights because, well, let's... <laughs> just not the code of chivalry. However, players may accidentally knock each other into spiked pits. Players may also discover the Merchant Chester, where they can spend their treasure to purchase equipment upgrades. After all players have made it through the side-scrolling dungeon, they will enter the final boss room to face off against one of the infamous Knights of the Order of No Quarter. Boss enemy actions are dictated by boss AI cards that show their attacks and movements. Attacking a boss will grant you a lot of treasure. But when a boss hits you, it forces you to drop some of your treasure. Once the Knight from the Order of No Quarter is defeated, players will count their total treasure. Whichever player has the most treasure at the end of the game is the one true Shovel Knight and is the winner. Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels comes with four Shovel Knight models, eight Bone Clang models, eight Propeller Rat models, six Gold Armor models, six Wisdom models, side-scrolling game tiles, King Knight Model, Spectre Knight Model, Plague Knight Model, The Enchantress Model, Boss Room Tile, Side Scrolling Dungeon Tile Track, Relic Cards, Equipment Cards, Spawn Cards, Four Hero Player Dashboards, One Rulebook, and Tokens. 
With your help backing this project, we may be able to unlock more content from the amazing Shovel Knight video game series. All backers will automatically receive the Shield Knight Hero Model. Thank you for your support. And remember, for Shovelry! Based off of the best-selling video game, Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels emulates the action of a side-scrolling platforming game with miniatures. The map itself moves as the game progresses and there are multiple weapons and dungeon layouts to see. Pledge $40 to get a copy of the Kickstarter ends September 7th and plans to deliver by September of 2020. Number 4 Hello sports fans! Welcome to the most exciting event of our century! The five most prolific fighters and their pilots are about to battle it out in the arena till the very end. Let's hear what Sharon has to say from the arena. Hello Roger! We can see the former champion Seaguard the Destroyer warming up next to his big rival Mero the Shadow and the rest of the combatants. The crowd tries to influence the fighters, cheering them up and trying to get in their heads. They are asking for Abel to go after Seaguard, and it seems it works! And off they go! May the Deceiver attacks FRD, who blocks spectacularly, making a counterattack. What a glorious wall of defense! Keen goes full on Seaguard, using his footwork, dealing him a massive blow, injuring him as well. Who knows what other thrilling highlights we are yet to see in Fired Up. In Fired Up, you are the audience cheering for fighters in the battle arena. This game features a unique cyberpunk theme and detailed miniatures. Outwit your opponents with betting mechanics to be the best player who had the most fun and win the game. Budge $60 to get a copy and the Kickstarter ends September 4th and plans to deliver by March of 2020. Number 3 Welcome, comrade. The Burgle Bros are back. And did you hear? This time we're going after a whole string of casinos. Fantastic, da? Huh? Yet, doors, traps, room with... Uh, and did you know we'll be doing this in broad daylight? That's why we have to wear these ridiculous costumes. Foolish man. Look, say, it will all be fine. But he always say that. He doesn't know this is a different kind of job. The gaming tables are being watched constantly, and of course, I have to hack them off. I miss one, whenever someone makes a commotion, and the bouncers are all over us. Did you see our new gear? Pretty nice, huh? If anyone can help at any time. But will anyone help me? Yes. Oh, Hacker, you are the best. You are fine. Roke is always safe. These casino safes are not so easy. We have to have someone in the control room while the safes are being cracked. Too many risky moves, if you ask me. But nobody does. Clock is ticking, comrade. We take too long on any casino floor, and bouncers hunt us like dog. Getting safe open is just half the problem. Every casino has elaborate, insane escape planned by Rook. Driving car through casino? Seriously? <laughs> Did you see our new gear? Anyone can smash, huh? Burgle Bros 2 is a standalone sequel to the successfully funded Burgle Bros. Plan your heist and get your crew together to take on a casino with two floors. This game features reworked mechanics from the first game for more balance and more fun. Pledge $49 to get a copy. Kickstarter ends September 5th and plans to deliver by May of 2020. Number 2 
become a legendary hero and stop the Ravager and Hexplore it, the land of Shurak. This is a standalone volume to the Hexplore it system. This is a co-op adventure featuring new heroes with new roles, campaign mode, and new bosses to figure out how to beat. Pledge $64 to get a copy. Kickstarter ends September 1st and plans to deliver by August 2020. Honorable Mentions before revealing the pick of the week, here are the games that didn't quite make the list. Taxi Derby is a pick up and deliver game where you work for the newest drive share company. Card Game the Card Game is a card game for 2 to 5 players that pays homage and makes fun of card game mechanics typically found in TCGs. Rune Stones is a deck building hand management game with a druid theme. The game probably would have been higher on the list if it had an official video to showcase the gameplay. Pick of the week. This week there were some very good games which made the pick of the week very hard to make, but Sleeping Gods gets me very excited. There is a massive open world to explore with beautiful art, it has a full storybook to read exploring the lore and the setting is awesome. The adventuring captain of a ship with monsters lurking under the depths that takes influence from Jules Verne sounds like the perfect game night to me. And that is why it is Analog Tabletop's pick of the week, or should I say two weeks. Pledge $70 to get a copy. The Kickstarter ends August 29th and plans to deliver by May 2020. And that's it for the top five Kickstarters of the week. Well, two weeks. If you plan on getting any of these games, let me know in the comments below. Please check out our channel for more videos such as how to plays and more Kickstarter games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.